Hi guys, Jenny with On Fire Fit and welcome to another episode of Healing Habits. Today I'm going to give you a little bit more detail about what is going on in the future as we move forward in healing habits. We're going to talk a little bit more about the foundation of what we're going to be doing. So if you have not watched the first video, you will want to do that. I will link it below and I'll try to put it up here. And I would love for you to join us in this process of moving forward in some healing habits. Today we're going to talk about a little bit more of how we're going to do that. But first, let's look at the shoes. Okay, all of my healing habits videos will probably not be super tied into the heal and how it tends to be a metaphor, but they will all have some part in my videos. But this one definitely has to do with the theme for today. And it is the reason why habits are so important. And so we're going to be talking about that. But the reason I chose this pair of Louboutins is because there is something unique about it, and that is that the soul has been renewed. Okay, so you've got, you probably can kind of tell that there's a little protection thing on there. And so just like these shoes are protected through this renewal process, so too we can renew our minds and that in turn will really help shape our choices, our decisions, and really the trajectory of our life. And that is a big reason why I think habits are so important. So we're going to talk about that, but this is a pair of Louboutins and I just love the detail. You can see there it's held together here by a little clear piece, but it's, I think it's just so pretty. I love how these kind of shoes are made because every detail is, you know, thought about and isn't that just what makes it so gorgeous? So, all right, let's talk. So habits are really important because of how they transform our mind. And we know that the mind is the control center. The way that you think is going to dictate how you end up living. So if you're thinking in certain ways, you're going to act out of that. And those habits in your mind, those habits of thinking are going to create kind of like tracks in your brain and those tracks you're going to continually walk on over and over and over again. So if you have a habit of thinking really poorly of yourself or feeling like a victim of your circumstances, you're going to have a habitual way of thinking that actually you start to portray in the behaviors that you have in the world. And a lot of times we try to change our behaviors and it won't stick because what really needs to be transformed is the way that we think and then out of that comes the behavior. So this is why I think habits are so important. Not so much that we're going to attack a bunch of behaviors, but that we are going to start changing the way that we think so that we flow out of that. And really my ulterior motive here is that the more that you think correctly, the more that you are going to love yourself, you are going to exhibit behavior of love, and you're going to love other people correctly. And so really that's the bottom line. It's not so much to get you to give up sugar or to stop looking at your phone all the time. It has so much more to do with the depth of on fire living. My, one of my dear friends asked me why the name on fire fit and where that came from. And I've talked about that a little bit before, but I really believe that God wants us to not just wait for the day that we get to heaven, but to have a really on fire life 
now. And I know that most people don't want to feel depressed. They don't want to feel like there's no point in going about their day. We all want to have something that gives us a passion and an excitement. But sometimes the way that we're thinking, sometimes the way that our mindset is, is dictating a behavior that is not taking us into that on fire living. And so a lot of what we can do is very practical. I really believe that God is super practical with us in how he goes about helping and guiding and leading us. He's not just separate and saying, figure it out. He gave us the Holy Spirit to be our guide, our counselor, to give us a check in the spirit when we say, you know what, this doesn't feel like it's really helping me. This is really not the direction I want to go. He gave us all of these things. And it is amazing that our brains have the capacity to change and rewire. And that is because of the power of the Holy Spirit that he can He's cleansed us to Jesus through his blood. He's cleansed us and he gave us the Holy Spirit in order to be able to transform us. Now, you may not be a Jesus follower and you say, well, I do have a good mindset. And I would agree that you probably do. If you are made in God's image, you are going to have a very good possibility of having what you need to live an abundant life. I believe it still is anchored in God, whether we acknowledge it or not, that he gave us his image that we were formed in, and then we get to either choose to acknowledge our creator or not, and eventually that will turn out for how God chooses, that's his decision, but the whole point of this is that when you are changed in the way that you think, you will be able to move out into the world and do your purpose and live on fire. And so for me, when I start looking at habits that are either taking me away from that abundant living or moving me toward it, I want to continually grow that area where I feel like my fire and my passion is. And I want to try to eliminate as much of the stuff that just bogs me down or trips me up. And I think most people would agree that that is what they want too. And so that's what we are trying to do as we move forward into the new year. And so if you can watch the first video to get a little more idea, but I want you to really think in terms of changing the mindset. There's a quote that probably you've heard before, neurons that fire together, wire together. So in your brain, when you've got neurons that are firing together and they're doing it repeatedly, you are going to wire them together and that's what a habit is. So they get so used to firing together through repetition, through habit, that they start to wire together. And so a lot of what we really need to do is continually renew our minds. In the book of Romans, chapter 12, Starting at verse 2, it says, Stop imitating the ideals and opinions of the culture around you, but be inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit through a total reformation of how you think. This will empower you to discern God's will as you live a beautiful life, satisfying and perfect in His eyes. So if you notice that the beginning, stop imitating the ideals and opinions of the culture around you. I would gather that when we start looking at the culture around us, we will notice that there are a lot of different opinions. There are a lot of different people that you could please. There is a lot of different directions you could go. And unfortunately, culture, if we use that term kind of all-encompassing, is really very selfish and self-centered. And I think we're seeing the results of that. But when you are inwardly in your mind, you are transformed by the Holy Spirit in how you think, that starts to empower you to live the way that God intended for you. And so this habitual process of rewiring those neurons in your brain is 
going to start to move you into that healthy on fire living. I like to start off as I'm making a goal or a new habit in thinking on what are the fires in my life that I want to keep pouring fuel on. So if you think about a fire, you know that it's going to die out through lack of fuel, right? And you know that the fires that continual, continually burn are going to be the ones that you keep putting fuel on. So if you have some habits that you don't really like, if you can stop pouring fuel on them, they will start to die off from lack of attention. The fires that you do want burning, if you can put your attention on those, you're going to keep those burning. Now, the, the impact of that is if you ignore some of these bad habits long enough and they die off, those are neuron tracks in your brain that are going to stop firing. And yes, there are going to be times that you might choose to refire those things up, but by the time you've created these new, healthier habits where the fires are burning, hopefully you get a quick check in your spirit that says, eh, I don't really want that anymore. That's who I used to be. So as we continually pour fuel on these healthy fires, then we know that we're going in a direction that is really leading us into that abundant life. So for me, I always start off with my first fire that I want to keep pouring fuel on is God because he gives me everything that I need in this life. My second fire is my family and then everything else is pretty much after that. So my on fire fitness stuff, my work and everything else. So as long as I know I'm pouring fuel on my fire with God, my family, and then I start to think about other things after that. But if I let those fires start to die off because of lack of attention, everything just blows up for me. So I know that that's really where my focus has to be. And so those are that's how I start to build my habits. One of the things that I really love is the idea that we can change and grow in these habits, but it does not have to rely on motivation. Motivation is somewhat of a lie. We rely on motivation thinking we have to always be motivated in order to do whatever it is that we think we need to do. Really what we need is what James Clear talks about in Atomic Habits. We need systems and systems are basically those habits, those basic networks of, of ideas of how we are going to go about building those habits. Those are the things that are going to take us forward. Motivation may be enough to spark the fire, but it won't keep the fire going. Okay, so if you feel motivated by my video, I would love that, that would be awesome. Um, but that's not gonna keep you going. You are gonna need to be pouring fuel on the fire. And the way you're gonna do that is setting up systems. And I talked a lot about that in the video prior to this, but your systems are what are going to take you forward, your plan of attack, how you are gonna build those habits. And again, I want you to go really simplistic in a way that you can make this doable and repetitive for a minimum of 30 days straight. Don't make it so huge that you can't keep doing it. And that way you're going to start building that habit and that neuron network that creates that pathway in your brain. Because what we're really going for is making these habits second nature that you don't have to think about it because that is the beauty of a habit in that it it builds this strong foundation that you don't have to think you don't have to make a decision and it frees up your mind to do other things so that is kind of where we're starting with i want you to watch the first video and then this one hopefully kind of gives you an idea as we go forward from here I am going to be making a five minute video that will just give you some little snippet of how and where and what to do for building habits. I obviously will be using Bible verses because I believe that that is really where our power comes from. But 
we will do that each day, Monday through Friday. My plan is to make the Thursday videos longer with the whole runway and everything, but I am gonna just do a five minute video that is a little more brief in order to give something that you can do each day that doesn't take up a ton of time and maybe give you that little push to keep pouring fuel on the right fire. And so hopefully that gives you some idea. I would love to hear what habit you are planning on implementing. And we are gonna be doing this together. I will be talking about what I'm doing as well. And the more that you comment, give me your feedback would be fantastic. If you subscribe, I believe the video should come to your in basket and that way you know that you've gotten it. I plan to post one each morning, again, Monday through Friday. I'll probably take the weekend off. <laughs> but anyway, I just hope that it gives you something kind of fun, new and different to do to try to get started in this new year in a fresh new way. And again, if you're watching this video and you're down the road and it's not the beginning of a new year, it doesn't matter. You can start any time, any day. It is always better to plant the tree now than to wait until a month from now. You want to start growing your healthy neurons, those healthy tree networks in your brain now. And so start now, even if it's not going to be the first of the year. So. For now, I will let you go, but I will be seeing you in the new year for healing habits, and I'm really looking forward to it. So thanks for being with me, and I hope that you live today on fire. Well, I forgot to pray, so why don't we pray? Father God, thank you so much that you gave us minds that can be renewed and that will grow and change and just can inspire us. Lord, you are so good that you have given us this ability and that we have that power within us. Thank you for making us in your image and therefore we have so much untapped potential that we just need to recognize and make use of. Please help us as we learn how to make healthy healing habits that will take us in new good directions that are just going to inspire us as well as those around us. We want to love ourselves, love others, and just love you with all of our hearts. And so thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. I pray for each and every one that is watching this video, and I just ask for a special blessing on them as they move forward into the new phase of their life. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, thanks so much, and I will be seeing you in the next video. All right, I left the natural sound on, not because you can hear my heels, but because you can hear my son in the background playing his guitar. Gotta love it. This is my life, especially with kids at home and not being able to get to school. <laughs> I'm one of those moms that just loves having their kids at home, and I mean that for real. Anyway, I hope you guys have a beautiful day.